Oh, yes, the parish. Ah, do you aware that she's starting to take communion? I said, Yes. So I go to her house and meet her husband. Ask the husband why he doesn't want to come to the church. Whatever reason he gives, ask him whether this is his wife. I said, Yes, I know the man. The man said, Go and ask him again. So I went and I asked him. And the man was, and I told the man, Oh, he said, Father, I wish I could come, but I'm a congregational leader. In my, I can't, you know, we did all that. So me as a young, I was a young boy, ordained 2012. I've just been made in church at the church. You know, so I went to Bishop Buckle and told him later to give the report of what he said. He said, go and fill the forms. You know the marriage forms. Fill them. I said, okay, I should go and see them. See, go to the man and fill. Just let them fill. Ask the questions, fill them, and bring them to me. I went to him. He looked at them. Okay. Then he signed. I said, okay, so what should I do? He said, go. Prepare the woman for communion. I said, ah. So I prepare her for communion, says he. As a priest. I was a priest. I said, no, prepare her for communion. No, why? <laughs> that they have not come to wedding. They have not done their... I said, go. Prepare her for communion. On Sunday, give her communion. Let her come first in the church. Eh? The way the woman wept that day, on that Sunday... She wept. Then I understood, of course, Bishop Buckle is a pastoral theologian. Sometimes we think we know the church better than God. Because we are behaving like the Pharisees. Laws. Mm -hmm. We are the canon lawyers. We, do you know canon law better than Christ Jesus? And I met Father Mona. I met him again. And we were discussing. I was thinking talking about... Catholics who are married to Muslims and this and that. He said, Father, we are burdening our parishioners. We even read the priest, we don't interpret the canon law well. The salvation of souls, canon 1752, is the supreme law of the church. Every case should be dealt with on its own word, basis. So that you can remove burdens, not put what? Burdens. And this is what Christ is. The people. And when I have done this for this woman, people say, Father, we didn't do marriage bans. And then I, I said, who says that you cannot have a wedding without marriage bans? Do you know that there is dispensation from marriage bans? Do you know the church better than the church? <laughs> but you see, all these laws exist. But sometimes in Africa, in our part of the world, we, we I don't even know what is wrong with us. When we are looking at saving a soul for Christ, even the people are just like the Pharisees were behaving. When Christ was thinking of saving this man, they were thinking of the Sabbath, Sabbath law. And Christ will ask you, hey, so should we do evil or do good? So I'm asking you, those of us who have, who, who have turned ourselves into police people, always putting our noses into everything, let grace work in the Catholic Church. Let the power of God be alive. People are even fighting Pope Francis. And Maurice Letizia, he says, no. People have, have, have remarried, whatever. On each case, deal with the case. Hey, Catholics, so let people, they are angry with the Pope. You think you, you know the church better than Pope Francis. The Pope is not correct. To save the soul of a Catholic who needs salvation. Let us be careful not to be fighting grace. Grace exists in our church. Amen.